today I am reviewing the Tatcha Dewey Serum Resurfacing and Plumping Treatment, which Lincoln loves. Lincoln, come here. Oh, he loves the scent of that one. You see that? Ooh. He's really into fragrances. Oh, see? He loves it. Good boy. Okay, so Tatcha calls this a three-in-one serum that smooths the look of fine lines and texture with lactic acid. From Hedese 3, visibly plumps with hyaluronic acid and locks in moisture with squalene. So, got it right here. Very pretty packaging. Kind of a sister product to their dewy skin cream, which a lot of people like. In my opinion, this is for dry, combination or oily, non-acne prone skin. And I will talk about that more towards the end of the review. Uh, my first criteria is packaging. And I like the packaging. It's very beautiful. Although... It does make it look like more than the one ounce you're getting. It looks like a beer bottle, but the bottle and the insides of this must be really small because one ounce is not that big. But I guess you can make it look larger in a pretty bottle, right? Okay, my second criteria is denatured or drying types of alcohol. This does have denatured alcohol. It is the third to last ingredient, so not a big concern overall or for most people, but it is important to note in case you are very sensitive to it. In terms of fragrance, this does have fragrance. It is the Signature Tatcha scent, which if you've used any Tatcha products, it's a non-offensive scent. It's not really floral. It's not really uh, herbal. It's got its own unique kind of scent. Typically, I find it to be not super noticeable, and it fades pretty quickly. However, in this one, it is a little bit stronger than I've noticed in other Tatcha products, and it does take a little bit longer to dissipate. Not exactly sure why, but that's just my observation from trying probably almost nearly every Tatcha product. This one, just the scent is stronger. I don't know why, but it is. So if you have very sensitive skin, just keep that in mind, or try and get a sample first, or smell in the store if you can, because you're investing a good chunk of change in this one, so... If it becomes too sensitive, it'd be very disappointing. So uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Japan, so no issues with that. So uh, ease of use, so they recommend massaging one to two pumps onto clean, dry skin morning and night. Although if you use any lighter serums or treatments, I recommend applying those beforehand because this is kind of like a thicker lotion-y texture, uh, but absorbs pretty quickly and sets to a natural finish, which doesn't look shiny, but it doesn't look matte either. It just kind of looks natural feels very hydrating absorbs quickly plays well with other products works well under makeup and foundation which is nice works great with their dewy skin cream so no issues at all with that just the fact that it is a little bit thicker for what you normally think of as a serum it's more of a lotion texture so keep that one in mind but otherwise very easy to use um yeah so pretty natural finish i don't think it feels matte and i don't think it looks shiny or greasy so and I do think it works great under foundation. It really does a nice job kind of creating a nice slate for sunscreen or foundation or beauty balm. Okay, so let's get to the fun stuff, which to me is the beneficial ingredients and antioxidants in this one. Okay, so we've got that Hedese 3TM, which is their patented kind of ingredient, which is really just a combination of three other ingredients, which is uh, green tea... Uh, rice ferment, and then algae. And those all function as antioxidants, uh, humectants, and anti-inflammatory ingredients. All three of those ingredients are very good for your skin, leaving it feeling hydrated and giving your skin a boost of uh, antioxidants and also calming skin. Then we've got squalane, which is a good antioxidant. It's also very hydrating, a good emollient ingredient, and you see it a lot because it's very stable, it's non-greasy, but it's extremely hydrating and tends to be very low on the uh, acneogenic scale. Then we've got sodium hyaluronate, which is not my favorite ingredient, but it's in there, it's a humectant, it's in so many things. I'm bored with it already, but it seems like it's cheap, so every brand throws it in, so whatever. Then we've got hydrolyzed collagen, which I've discussed this in other videos, but you can't just slap collagen on your face and make collagen. And, and in fact, hydrolyzed collagen really isn't collagen. It's uh, a mix of various peptides, which is very good for hydrating the skin and kind of preventing water loss and dryness. But it doesn't make collagen. 
So keep that in mind. The only way to really make collagen, I guess, lasers, treatments, things like that. Uh, vitamin C can make collagen. So keep that in mind. You can't put collagen on and make collagen. It just doesn't work that way. So, okay. Then we've got hydrolyzed elastin, which is an emollient and hydrate ingredient as well. Then we've got this beta ficus gelatium extract, which is a brightening ingredient uh, plant. Then we've got uh, crombe seed oil, which is an emollient and fatty hydrating oil. Then we've got tetrahexyldecal ascorbate, which is a stable and promising vitamin C derivative. I'm not totally crazy on a lot of the vitamin C derivatives because there just isn't enough studies on them to really show that they're great. But that one looks promising. So, and it some uh, there's been a few very small studies that make it look like it might be the next best thing. So we'll see. I'm waiting for more before I solely rely on that though. Uh, then we've got macadamia nut oil, which is a very good emollient, and then two forms of vitamin E, which is a good antioxidant as well as hydrating ingredient. So overall. I was pretty impressed with the ingredient list. I found it to be a very nice blend of emollients and antioxidants. Uh, so very good there. In terms of animal testing, Tatcha is cruelty-free, so that's always great. Performance, so it's very hydrating and definitely gives skin a moisture boost. Also helps with plumping. My poor hands have been so dry, so it instantly gives skin kind of a more plumped appearance, which is nice, and it feels hydrating and uh, works well in your morning and evening routine. Although if you have acne prone skin, I do recommend being very cautious with this one because it does contain several acneogenic ingredients varying on how uh, acneogenic they are. We've got squalane, glycerol stearate, dimethicone, sterile alcohol, sorbate and isosterate, butylene glycol, and vitamin E, and it is not fungal acne safe either. So keep that in mind. Then we get to the price. There's always there's always a kicker at the end. So this little guy is $88 if you don't buy it on sale. I bought this, I believe, during the Tatcha sale? Or else I got a good gift with purchase. I can't remember, but I was excited when it came out. So I ordered it right from Tatcha because so far I usually doesn't get things until a little bit later. So I was all excited. So it's one ounce, which is 30 milliliters, and it retails for $88, making this one of the most expensive I've ever seen, $2.93 a milliliter which is pricey and expensive. And you know what? I probably have $3 on my hand right now. Oof. That's a bad thought. I don't like that thought. So it's expensive. Then we get to the it factor. I do, I do like this one. It's got a lot going for it. The texture is nice. It absorbs nice. Sets to a nice finish. Uh, it really hydrates skin. Uh, plumps it. Plays well with other products. Got a lot of good hydrating, brightening, and antioxidant ingredients. Wish they would have left out some of the alcohol, maybe less than the fragrance, a little bit. I know they like their signature fragrance, but a little bit less strong might have been a little bit better for me. And the price is also very expensive. So, um, and also not very friendly for most acne prone skin. So overall, I give this a six out of 10. Although I do like it, I'll absolutely finish this bottle up and I give thing, other products maybe a high review and I don't necessarily always finish the product up before I hand it down to somebody else. So I will finish this, I do like it. It's got its good good factors and its bad qualities so it's a give and take i mean the fragrance and alcohol are so far down so it's not a huge concern but probably more of a concern for acne prone skin than very sensitive skin so anyway those are my thoughts i'm interested in hearing from you guys i think sephora has like 600 five star reviews of this one because uh they sent out an influencer box so i have a feeling somebody that spent 90 bucks on it, as opposed to someone that got it free might think of it a little differently perhaps but they say they don't sometimes, so I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Lincoln. Oh. Hello. Today I've got... Look at Lincoln loves it. Lincoln approved. Should I start that over again? No, no, no. I'm just talking about Lincoln and the distraction. I don't think I was at my A game in the beginning of this, so...